want, I want to talk about the future. Let me take you back uh, to when you were born in Hangzhou, uh, where the headquarters still are. Yep. Uh, and your campus is there. You don't have a loot. Don't, don't move your loot. Your headquarters your there. there. Yeah. You found it there, loot there. You grew up in the 60s. 64. <laughs> born in 64. That was the time of the Cultural Revolution. Yeah. It was the end of the Cultural Revolution. It was, uh, well, my grandfather was uh, a tiny landlord. It was considered, after liberation, was considered to be a bad guy. So um, <clears throat> I was, um, I, 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 I know how tough it was uh, when I was a kid. You tried to get into three colleges. Mm -hmm. Each time they rejected you. No, I, I tried. There is an examination that young people, if you want to go to university, you have to taste take the examinations. So I failed three times. Right. But I had a lot of fail. I failed for funny things that I failed a key primary school test for two times. And I failed uh, um, like a two, three times for the middle school, middle schools. And uh, you, you would never believe in, in Hangzhou, my city, there's only one middle school that lasts only one year. It was changed from primary school to middle school because our graduates of our, our, our school, no, you, no middle school accept us because we were too bad. Yeah. <laughs> they would become a middle school. <laughs> what effect did it have, though, uh, being rejected? Well, I think we have to get used to it. We're not that good. Even today, we still have a lot of people reject us. I think um, when I uh, in the, graduated from universities, and before I, you know, for three years I tried to fill in the universities. So I applied jobs for 30 times, got rejected. I went for a police, they said, no, you're not good. I went to either, even the uh, KFC. When KFC came to China, come to my city, <laughs> 20, 24 people went for the job. 23 people were accepted. I was the only one guy. <laughs> and we went for police. Five people, four of them accepted. I was the only guy that I rece received it. So to me, being turned down, rejected. Oh, by the way, I told you that I, would, I applied for Harvard yeah. for 10 times rejected. <laughs> I know I'll be rejected. Sorry I just don't want to say that. <laughs> yeah, sorry now. Right. <laughs> 10 times you wrote them and said, I'd like to come to Harvard. Yeah, and then I told myself, somebody I should go teach there, baby. <laughs> I, I, I think that can be arranged. Um, Richard Nixon came to Hangzhou. Yeah. And after that, tourists flooded the place. Yeah. And that's how you learned English. Yeah. I really like the, I don't know why, at 12, 13 years old, that time I suddenly fell in love into the language, the English. And there's no place you can... You can learn English at that time. There's no books, English books. So I went to the uh, Hangzhou Hotel, now called Hangzhou Shangri-La Hotel, because that was the hotel uh, can receive the foreign visitors. So every morning for nine years, I showed them around as a free guide, and they taught me English. And uh, I think that changed me. Today, I'm 100% made in China. I've never got a one-day train outside China. Yeah. And uh, people, when people talk to me, say, Jack, how can you speak English like that? Why sometimes you, you talk like an Amer Western guys? I think that was the nine years. These Western for tourists opened my mind because everything they told me are so different from the things I learned from the schools and from my parents. So now I have a habit. Whatever I see, whatever I read, I use my mind. Think about it for two and minutes. Is that how Ma Jun became Jack Ma? Actually, Jack, the name was given by uh, a, a, a lady in tennis. She's a tourist. She came here and she said, uh, came to Hangzhou. We had a, we become a pen friends. Ma Ring is so difficult to pronounce. So she said, do you, do you have an English name? I said, don't. So can you give me an English name? She said, uh, okay. She said, my father called the Jack, my husband called Jack. What do you think about Jack? I said, good. <laughs> so I've been using that for that many years. Yeah. 